Hey everyone, it's Sunday night and I'm trying to get prepared for the work week and I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for Monday. But I thought it would be a good idea if I go ahead and show you what I'm planning for the week and then I'll try to show you what I have for dinner each night during the work week. With any weight loss plan, I think the key to being successful is to do your planning. And I didn't plan it out exactly what I'm going to have each night. I just looked at the main course for each night and then I can just fill in with whatever low carb sides I'm feeling like. And I might even switch this out. But this is my basic game plan for the week just so I have an idea of what I'm going to have each night. And then I can use that whenever I'm figuring out my macros for the day. Another question that I get asked a lot is what do you do during the work week for breakfast and lunch? So for breakfast this week, it'll change week to week, just like a lot of people change what they eat week to week now without even doing low carb. So for this week, for most of my breakfast, I plan on doing my usual coffee, which I've shown you that, how I make it in my what I eat in a day video. Um, you've also seen those Quest blueberry protein muffins, and I have enough of those to get me through the week, so it's probably just gonna be a coffee and the muffin on the go. Um, but sometimes I will mix this with my coffee. I really love to do this whenever it starts getting warmer with iced coffees. And this is just the Walmart off brand of the Premier Protein Shakes. And whenever I go to Sam's Club, I'll probably get a big case of the Premier Protein ones. So this is the vanilla flavor and that's the best flavor that I like to add to coffee. The caramel one is good in coffee too. But as far as drinking them plain, they're okay. The chocolate one I'll drink plain, but these I'd rather just add them to coffee, kind of like a good creamer. And then you get your protein in there. I love the Premier Protein and these Equate ones because look at this, 30 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. So you're looking at, let's see, three net carbs for this. So not bad at all, especially for the amount of protein that it packs with it. However, I do think it's best to get your protein from actually eating the food. So here are some other options. Um, for breakfast, I might even do some hard boiled eggs. And you can see I went ahead and preparation is key. I prepped a whole bunch of hard boiled eggs in my Instant Pot. And that is the best way that I figured out to be able to cook a bunch of hard boiled eggs at once. And they peel so easily. I've had the hardest time with that. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but Instant Pot is the way to go for me making hard boiled eggs. I will also use the hard boiled eggs as part of my lunch. Eggs are just a great way to get in protein and they're low carb. I do kind of go through phases though, just like anything, just like anybody else. If I eat a whole bunch of the hard boiled eggs, I get burnt out on them and I don't want them for a while. But I haven't done hard boiled eggs in, I don't know, a couple months. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring those back. And of course, I'll go ahead and add plenty of salt to them whenever I eat them to keep up on those electrolytes. Another easy to go lunch is just taking some deli meat. And I know this probably isn't the best selection of it, but I went ahead and got it and it's gonna work for me this week. I love packing pickles in my lunch. This week, I think I'm gonna take some of these no sugar added sweet pickles. So you can see the macros there for them. And I really like the Vlasic brand pickles too. Normally I'll take dill pickles, but I don't know. I've been kind of having a slight sweet tooth this week. So hopefully those sweet pickles will fix that. And again, that's the no sugar added sweet pickles because the other ones do have sugar in them. And these are great. These are great as a chip substitute or you could use them as croutons or with a salad. Um, sometimes whenever I get the white chicken salad from Walmart. I'll use these to kind of scoop it up a little bit, so like a cracker too. They have all different flavors of this, but I've really been loving the bacon barbecue flavor. And then this is probably the most common thing that I use for lunch. It's just these Old Wisconsin turkey sausage snack sticks. And so I'll usually take like three, and then I also usually take one of these string cheeses to go along with it. And I'll take some other food as well, but that's the main thing. I would take the turkey sticks and the string cheese and then some other sides too. 
Uh, this doesn't come with me very often, but I do love my peanut butter, and I know it's more expensive whenever you buy it in these little single serve cups, but here is why I do that. Because if I don't, see this is portioned out for me. If I don't, then I will eat like half a jar of peanut butter, and yeah, that's way too many calories, way too much fat. So, Sometimes it's worth paying for the convenience, at least in the beginning of your journey. Oikos Triple Zero, all the flavors are great. This is something that I got. Oh, my kids are fighting. All right, we solved the argument there. So I think I was talking about these. So this is the just the cheese, and it's the grilled cheese flavor. And I actually ordered these from Vitacost, and I think they have some other flavors too. And this is really good. It's it's kind of like bars, but I usually break them up and use them kind of like crackers or croutons. Uh, Quest bars, several good options with that. I bought a whole case of the oatmeal chocolate chip because I really love this flavor. I'll take um, just tuna pouches, and whenever I take these for my work lunch, as a teacher, we actually have lunch duty at the school that I'm at, so we don't get to do like unsupervised lunch. So by the time we get kids situated, I have like 10, 15 minutes to scarf down some food. So I will actually just take one of these. This one's actually my favorite to take. And I will just rip it open and stick a fork into it and eat it like a savage. And then there's the lemon pepper flavor. That's a good one too. I like to get the flavored ones whenever I take it at, as my lunch. But if I get just the plain ones, then I'll make a low-carb tuna salad with it. And then Quest. I feel like I mentioned Quest so much. I just love Quest products. I feel like it fits the macros really well because it's higher protein, and it's low-carb, and it's pretty good flavor. So Quest protein chips. I like the tortilla style. So in the tortilla style, they have this chili lime. This one's kind of spicy. So if you're not a person that likes the spicy foods, I'd stay away from this one. But do get the tortilla style. They have a nacho and a ranch flavor, and those are great. And then I have these in my Aldi haul earlier, but it's just those sweet mini peppers. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those awesome little guacamole cups, and that's what I love to take these with and just dip them in the guacamole. But I will probably still just take some of these, and I do have some French onion dip, and maybe I'll take a little bit of that to dip with it. I hope that gave you some ideas of different options that you could do for quick work lunches, but really the easiest thing for me, if you have access to a microwave, then I would just, whenever you cook dinner, make extra beforehand, and then you can just microwave leftovers whenever you get to work, and that's what I do a lot of nights. So like with the roast, I'm sure we'll have leftovers from that. When we have leftovers from taco night, I'll take and make a taco salad for lunch the next day. So that's another way to not only save money, but then you can also still have those hot meals and not just feel like you're just eating meat and cheese sticks every day for lunch. So you got to give yourself that variety because if you're going to go with the low carb keto lifestyle, you can make it sustainable, but you have to choose to and you got to put in the work and you got to do a little bit of planning on your part. I am so glad that I did a crock pot dinner for today, which is Monday, because I am exhausted. So it was so nice to come home to an already cooked meal. So what I did is I just portioned out eight ounces of the crock pot roast beef, and all I did was throw it in the crock pot and put a stick of butter on it and a packet of the ranch seasoning. And then I put in radishes because you can see they're kind of like a mashed potato consistency and they don't have the bite that radishes normally do. Whenever you cook them, it just kind of takes that bite out. So I prepared them just like I would potatoes from the crock pot. So I just put some salt, pepper, and some butter and I actually use those. People are probably going to hate this, but I actually just used some of this countryside creamery spread from Aldi and I like it because it has less calories than regular butter so even better for those weight loss macros and then I'm just gonna have some twisted mango diet coke to go with this and that's gonna be my dinner it's taco Tuesday tonight so I'm having more of a taco salad so I just have lettuce the taco meat black olives a few tomatoes some taco sauce sour cream and some avocado and then I'm also going to top it with some of the Quest tortilla style protein chips. So some added protein this way too. And it gives it a good crunch. 
I have the chili lime flavor. Normally I'll use the nacho cheese for my taco salads, but I had several of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the chili lime flavor with my taco salad. It's Wednesday night, so chicken crust pizza for dinner tonight. So I just make my own homemade chicken crust pizza. It gives it a nice crust texture. It's just canned chicken, grated Parmesan cheese, and an egg. And then I use the Great Value pizza sauce from Walmart, and it's three net carbs per serving on that. And then normally I would use shredded mozzarella cheese or shred up my own mozzarella cheese for the topping and then sometimes I'll put pepperoni different things like that on there well I thought I had mozzarella cheese and I didn't so I just grabbed some of the sliced cheese from that cheese tray and so I think it's just Monterey Jack cheese and I just put a few slices it's Friday night and I changed plans for dinner I was going to have the shrimp and kielbasa but it's been a long week, I'm tired, so I just went with quick and easy air fryer wings and I just put some of my favorite Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce on those. Um, I did some low carb little smokies, so just little smokies with some Jihoo sugar free barbecue sauce and then some good old Hidden Valley Ranch and then I'm going to have some Clausen Dill Pickle Spears some ranch quest chips and a baby bell cheese and that's gonna wrap it up for the week I hope you've enjoyed this week of keto work night dinners if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to keep doing more like this thanks for watching bye